Welcome everybody to the Hugh Robles podcast. My name is Ethan. No, my name is Jordan. That's Hi, and my name is Jordan. That's Maya. My name is and Taylor. F- and for the first time ever on Hugh Robles content, this is my girlfriend Taylor. And hey. and we're just talking about the amazing race. And apparently Maya was throwing shade saying we couldn't do some things. And I want to know what we couldn't do on the amazing race. Oh my god, I don't even remember. Hook. No, I said at but, first. At first, I said you guys, you guys probably couldn't cook, but then I remembered you cook, Jordan. So like, Ethan couldn't cook. I mean, okay. it's not like you have to prepare like a five star meal. You just have to make something, you know. You just have to heat up the food. Yeah, he, uh, basically. Yeah, yeah, in the right order. That's where <laughs> and, like make it look pretty. That's where you and Taylor would win because yeah. she's much better in the kitchen. If you have to bake cookies. On the Amazing Race. If that's a task, then sure, I'll do it. What country's known for their cookies? America. America. Okay, so you just have to get to the last leg of the race, and then you'll probably win. (laughs) Perfect. Dude, I I, I know we talked about this, but I still can't believe they don't buy plane tickets and stuff. I know. It's so... I still enjoy it, but it's so lame now compared to what it used to be. Yeah. Apparently, the UK version is still rather... It, it, they don't hold your hand as much in that Good. version. Yeah. You have to, like, find people to spend the night with. Like, find a farmer to let you stay in his shack or something and save up your money to buy their chicken's eggs so you can eat for the day. Is it, like... only, is it only UK people? Uh, That I don't know. Because yeah, I would be probably not. One now. Oh, but they don't have Phil. No. They don't have Phil. Taylor, have you watched Amazing Race? No, not really. <gasps> it's so good. It's Do you know what it show. is? I have the concept. It's very, <laughs> it's very cheesy uh, reality TV. Yeah. It's not, it's not as dramatic. Sometimes it is, but not really. That's why I like it. Though. So, That's not as dramatic. Not all this drama and stuff. Yeah, it's actual. Maybe the most real reality TV. Do you remember when that lady slung shot a watermelon into, into her face? Epic all-time <laughs> moment. You what? Epic all-time moment. They were, okay, so they were somewhere in Europe, and they were in, like, fields, and they were getting into, like, how they used to, like, catapult stuff, and she gets it far down on the ground, pulls the watermelon in the launcher back as far as she can, lets go, it goes forward, and then full force back in her <laughs> face. <laughs> I'm pulling it up right now. <laughs> Watermelons are heavy. That, that oh yeah, it, it could like, really like a full size one. <laughs> <laughs> Show it's, her face. Show it's her so face. terrible to okay? laugh at this, but yeah, she was okay. No way. Like I don't. That should, <laughs> dude. That should kill you. There's no way you survive the that. Medical assistance is like, oh man, are you good? Look at her. She's Low just like, key, like oh. her nose looks blown up. <laughs> I mean, but she looks. She was pretty. I think she was pretty hurt. Oh, God. I, I I would be dead. I'd be unconscious. Like she's just. <laughs> she looks like she has a headache. The other girl, you have to finish. <laughs> she looks at her. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think it was early on in in the season too. Like one of the first couple legs and that's how you get introduced oh my God. to this <laughs> the slightly <laughs> delayed reaction after i showed it to maya it's okay. oh, it's horrible okay, at least it was the little round one it's not like the big i know like, but i feel like those but are harder those would be harder to burst due to the force of like hitting your face i feel like yeah yeah oh my God. yeah I they're they're nervous. stronger <laughs> because yeah. it's just the rind mostly Oh my god. You could say she's hard headed. <laughs> <I'm laughs> if something like that <laughs> happens to us on the amazing race, then we might be done for. But otherwise I think we're winning. Guaranteed. Yeah. Another good reason why Taylor and I are not going on the main. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> because we, for fear of watermelons. Uh yeah, now. Real talk the the Without throwing too much shade, these people are not smart. A lot of the people on no, the no, they're they really stupid. Yeah, I, I don't want to understand spoil stuff the, the driving, season. the directions. I can understand that stuff sometimes. Oh, Other I mean. times, I don't. That's what I'm referencing. 
No, I mean, it's, to an extent, I can yeah. forgive it. But, like, yeah, sometimes it's just... They keep choosing the wrong person to drive and the wrong person to to navigate. Do you speak Spanish at all? Me? Yeah. I feel like I could barely get by with the bare minimum to we, if we were we in a Spanish speaking country. Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 guys might pass us on that leg. We might come in like second to last, but but we'll make it through. Well, this is fun. Uh, the reason we have our best friends on the episode this week is because we're going to talk a lot about Disneyland. Um, Hi, best friend. But <laughs> you are my best friend. I, you know, I, I didn't. I don't know why I chose that because you are my best friend, <laughs> and that I, that's my favorite way of describing you. I don't know. Did I make yeah. it weird? No, no, Ethan did. Take him off the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Survivor. We're, I'm not winning Survivor, that's for sure. No, I'm not even going on it. You're booted off the island. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about the f- future of Disneyland. We'll talk about that after the break. But first, um, I'm going a little out of order. Ethan, tell us about your crazy dream. Oh, I don't know. That's a... Uh... Well... I'll, I'll take it even. Let's let's zoom, zoom back a second. You know those dreams where you have, and then like somehow years later, you have like the same one. Have you guys experienced that mm-hmm. before? I think so. Have you had a recurring dream. Yes. Mm-hmm. I had a yeah, recurring this... series of dreams. Like it was the same person and setting, but like, okay, the events were slightly different. I. I want to say I've had this one before, but it was very involved. Uh, at some point, I got somehow, and I don't even know if it was me or just like through the eyes of another person kind of a deal. But uh, imagine you're like on a vacation and you get somehow like almost like you owe a debt and now you're like enslaved. Yeah, like 9 like, like a game yeah. or something. <laughs> huh? We we do you know the show nine one one on Fox? Is that the one that just had the Poseidon episode? Yes. Yeah, we watched that with my grandma. That's the most insane bit of TV I've ever seen. Well, I mean, that's. Did you watch all three episodes? No. Okay, I don't know if you got to that point, but like, basically, it's exactly what you're talking about. Like, they're on a vacation and they get entangled in this like, I don't know, crypto stealing scam thing. And oh my god. Pirates shoot up the ship. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's terrifying because no, I didn't see that. But yeah, I guess that's essentially what what happened. So like, uh, now basically a slave, and then somehow end up as a pawn in a bank heist. Cool. That was like very high level, and no, and I had actually forgotten about it. But then apparently someone stole thirty million dollars from. Like the LAPD, in like exactly this way, like hardcore, like professional people, like broke in, and they had people on the inside, and like that's what was in my dream was like, how do these people know these people? And like it was. Is that, is that what the movie Heat is based on? It's like one of the biggest like bank heists in LA, like of all time, or something like that. Possibly, I haven't seen that movie. Have you seen that movie? Well, that's cool. Was it fun? Yeah, it was horrific. <laughs> really? Why? At, at one point, I managed to, like, because we were, like, in public, and I got outside, and I ran away. And then I was just, like, running for my life. <laughs> and then this is, and then this is, then I found police, and I was like, help. And they were in on it. Yep. I see. Okay, that would be scary yeah. when you don't know who you can trust. Yeah, nobody, basically. Yeah. And then I woke Even up. the guy at the pizza shop on the corner, he's in on it. Yeah. The Uber driver. And, you know, and then and then you wake up and you're like still like sweating and you're just like, am I even safe? And you're happy to just be back in the real world. I haven't had one of those dreams in a while where when I'm dreaming it, I'm like, if this is real, I'm completely screwed. Like my life is over. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and it feels so real that I genuinely think that. And then I wake up, I'm like, oh, I guess work won't be so bad today. Like I can, I can endure this. <laughs> Well, 
Good. I'm glad you didn't get abducted and put into bank heisting slavery. It would make for a good podcast episode, though. Yeah. Sorry. It's uh, I don't I don't remember much much more of it, but uh, yeah, that was that was the general gist. I've I've been trying to write down my dreams lately, just because it's so crazy how even by like lunchtime I can't remember details that I remembered right when I woke up. I think that's my dream up. journaling. I tried that for a while. It works. You get better at it and recalling it. And Do then it you enough lose and then a dream. Control them. Yep. Would you want to do that? I don't know. You don't want to control your dreams? I don't know. But I don't, have I you don't ever know before? if I have like good decision making that I would be confident <laughs> enough to like. I'd do it and I'd be like, oh, frick, this is, I got no one to blame but myself. That's the perfect place to, like, experiment, though. Like, there's no consequences. If you make a bad decision, it's it's okay. Just waking up in a sweat and a panic <laughs> due to my own making that's, every time. That's true. No loss. Yeah, that's it's fair. It's always tomorrow night. <laughs> it's, there's still the, the torment of, of what you went through. Yeah, fair enough. I know, it's like, uh... An opportunity to like practice, but also it sounds a little exhausting. Yeah. I've it's never done it. Like... Never? I don't think I've ever controlled yeah. it. And... I think I've at least yeah. tried to. Yeah, like Inception. Like, pinch or something. like if it's a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Trying to make it go that... the right way. Instead yeah, of I think so. Like if I'm in the middle of it and I'm like, please hope this is a dream or something. Yeah, I, I think. Guess I've never really in real life done it though. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. Yeah, where does that come from? That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody, knows. that's a yeah common expression though. Right. Yeah, because yeah, it's just space, like yeah. if you but feel not where, it or whatever, like oh, well, I'm a lot, I'm awake. Yeah, and how did that get escalated from like? pinching to if you die in your dream you die in real life like <laughs> oh my gosh that terrorized me in high school no i just didn't that's like, like inception the feeling. Right? yes although when they we die don't... they just go to limbo yeah oh uh, that's right I, I feel like you right? always wake up like you can't die in a dream right i i don't i don't think so because well, I don't know. See, now everything I've ever heard, I just feel like is nonsense that I believed. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think like, that's real. There was the whole thing of like, you can't dream you dying because your brain doesn't know how to imagine death because no one knows what death is or what it looks like. So like, yeah, in my dream, I just imagined it would be the end of the dream. Yeah. Boom. I'm awake. Yeah. Which is what? It, yeah, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. Lights out. Time Maybe we're up. dreaming right now. Well, I mean... Stop. Who knows Stop. Where you... It's getting too real. <laughs> who knows where you wake up when you die. Um, okay, I genuinely don't have a good uh, segue for this, but I just also wanted to bring up, before we talk about Disneyland, I wanted to talk about Universal. And it's their 60th anniversary, and I don't know if you saw, but the, uh, the Studio Tam Tram Tour, for the first time in 40 years, is now letting you get off of the tram and walk around movie sets. And That's a horrible idea. You think? Oh, I, I, so I did see, there was an article I saw that there was like, this is not going to go well, like people are going to take advantage of this, but I want to get off the tram and like walk around the oh, yeah. Jaws set or something. Here's my thought. The second that people get off, what is this now, like a four hour wait? Hmm... How do you wonder manage if... people like wandering around? All right, all right everybody, we we got to get back on the tram. It, okay, come on, everybody. Like, I don't know. How definitely you, can't how be that. wandering. I think it's get off here, take a picture with that thing in the background. Although they say there's like places to buy merch and plenty of photo opportunities. I have a feeling maybe you know how there's like a lot of different ways to go on the tour. Maybe every you know, next tram mm -hmm. goes a different route and then they let you off on a different set. So like maybe you have mm -hmm. to do it multiple times to like get to actually experience all of them so that they can I, send them all out. But I have another idea. What if you get back on different trams? They just drop you off in a walk around area. Oh, 
and then they have a get back on and continue the tour area. I feel like that's probably what it is. That oh, makes it's a lot two of sense. lines. Line to get on it there, and then a line to get back on to keep going. Yeah, and you can hang out at whatever set for however long you want. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. When is that happening? Um, let me see. It, uh, I think if it hasn't started already, it starts this month and it goes through like the end of August. Oh, this is temporary. Yes, it's it's like That's a fast. 60th anniversary celebration kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, we we definitely want to do that. We've been missing Universal a lot, surprisingly. Maya, have you been missing Universal? I mean, I like Universal, but we really? haven't gone. Yeah, the last time we went was with you guys. We didn't end up going, and our yeah. things expired. <laughs> Did they expire? Yeah, I mean, same. We didn't go again after that, but uh, I don't know. Harry reason. Potter Lands, Nintendo World. I know, we didn't even yeah. do Harry Potter. They're no, so... I, I would have been down to go again. They're so good, and we'll talk about this later, but like City Walk is fantastic. I, I think it's a really fun place to hang out. So we, we've we been kind of feeling the urge to go to Universal more than, not more than Disneyland, but that's one of the things I miss most about well, it's, home. It's uh, uh, less, less, uh, less time and miles there. How so? You have, historically. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So exactly. Essentially, oh, yeah. like newer. Yes. Less explored. I yeah, I feel like I. I know. I was trying. That's why I was trying to figure out how to how to word that. No, I understand. Um, what do they have there? Six Flags. We have a Six Flags. It's not open right now because apparently it's too cold. Um, mm. Wimps. That's it? it. Only like ten degrees. Water parks and stuff. There is a lot of water parks in Illinois. Yeah. I don't know why. Mm. That seems also counterintuitive, but a lot of water. A lot of water. It's yeah, you I can't feel like... have you can't have pools here due to the weather because of the snow and the freezing temperatures. So you have to have a place where that they can go during the summer to get whatever. That's so true. It's a bunch of water parks in Wisconsin and in this area. It's a more common area for everyone like, to... There's a lot of communal pools, there, like, here. Yeah. It's like that they empty during the cold seasons and they fill it back up for the summer and people in the area just go and pay admission to go to these big communal pools because a lot of people can't have them and maintain them through the weather. Yeah, true. That's a good point. In California, just have a pool or the beach all, or whatever. Always, all yeah. year long, yeah. Just heat it during mm -hmm. the winter if you need to. I saw an article that was like the best swim up pools or swim up bars and like half of them were in Wisconsin Dells. Mhm. Mm I did hear that from my boss. Wisconsin sounds oh. cool. Wait, yeah, Wisconsin, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, people keep talking about that saying we need to go there. Mm -hmm. Go get what is it they have fudge? I think they have a lot of fudge there. Cheese. Fudge and cheese, yeah. Done. Done. And and swim up bars. Yeah, that sounds fun. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what? My holy trinity. <laughs> <laughs> Fudge, cheese, swim up bars. You'll never see me again. <laughs> I love that. Charcuterie board of fudge and cheese yeah. just floating in the oh, water. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, grandma makes peanut butter fudge now. I don't know if you guys oh. got to try any of it. It's like chocolate is... chips in it. <laughs> yeah. Is fudge like... What is fudge? Is that like... I always associate fudge with chocolate, but can you, like, fudge anything? I think so. Fudge, is it, like, sweetened condensed milk or something that it gets, like, thickened with? Yeah. And then you kind of, like, harden it Okay. Or something? She, like, whips in, like, marshmallow or, like, a whipped mm. marshmallow. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. You have a cook. I... I'm not, not a baker. I or... want that. Yeah. She's on a cake. Baker. She's on a cake kick right now. Grandma. Okay. Not you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <Not either. laughs> That's fun. In her in her newly renovated kitchen. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. My mom sent pictures. Of what it was like. When? I don't. Night and day. A year ago. The whole house. Just. Oh okay. It's unbelievable. Yeah. 
transformation. Yeah, I don't. Just the paint. It, the things were not in a the good state last year. The colors, yeah, everything. When was the last time you were here? Christmas. Pretty much everything had been done and painted and stuff. It was. I think it was so. pretty close to done. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll show you the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah, I, I, I would love to see the comparison. But you guys did a good oh, job. Everything's set up now, so. Yeah, we're almost done. Yeah. All your bookcases and display cases and One stuff. One bookcase. Yeah, oh, okay. there's just a some art has gone up, so. I think we're gonna. Fades. We're gonna try to do a fire tonight. Do you guys have a fireplace? Mm-hmm. The one and in her mom's fires. room There's turns three. on with a switch. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, like gas? Y yeah. There's one down here, right? One down here, one in the living room, and then one in my mom's room. Yeah. I don't like fireplaces. <gasps> you don't? No. He feels like Why? he's like uh, cooking, like a kebab. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, I don't like heat. I want to I... be cooked like a kebab. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that's me. I'm like bundling yeah, in yeah. the blanket. A little pig well, blanket. Yeah. Under... yeah. I like the aesthetic of them. I, you know, I like the crackling and during the winter, I I appreciate the look of them, but I don't I don't need the warmth, honestly. I'll get a blanket. Yeah. Uh, low key, it has been freezing here. Uh, we just got like a winter storm, relatively. <laughs> yeah. I was about to ask, like, how cold? <laughs> it's been it's been chilly, like. It's like We've, it's probably been her closer mom, than like think. Yeah. Her her mom called today. Oh my it's God. 54 right now. She called today to show me like maybe like this much of ice that was on the grass from the rain mm. what? that she was having. Where? In in California? In Temple City. Yeah. yeah in Temple wow. City. Yeah, they had like hail or something. Yeah. Yeah, we have like a freezing winter storm right now. It it's gonna be forty four tonight and forty two tomorrow night. Highest forties. So freezing your, your daily high at night. Your daily high at night. Okay. Yeah. yeah. For... And I have been freezing and complaining about I, I'm I really appreciate <laughs> that negative ten degree little ten days that we have because she is now like Give me 40, 50 degrees, I'm fine. Before we came here, she was freezing all the time, and we can go to Disneyland in t-shirts and shorts now and feel feel great about it. So Save I'm happy time. about that. Yeah. I always feel bad when you're so cold and we're out somewhere. Yeah, that's the thing. I still, yeah, I don't like to do things. <laughs> I don't really like to do things here. Yeah. It's hard when it's so cold. Yeah, I'm yeah. often uncomfortable. Like, or I'm in, like, a Snuggie, and I just look like a little marshmallow walking. Yeah, you're cold, and, you, like you say, you don't get to wear, like, the, the clothes and the outfits yeah. that you want. You're just wearing your thick layers all the time. It's lame. Okay. Also, Disney gets so cold at night, though. It kind of does. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. for sure. During the winter, for sure. I still want to, I want to remember what that is, though. Like, how cold is that cold that I'm remembering? I know. For me, it was At like Disney? 65. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that the what? temperature that I take Remy out in my, in, you know, Shorts. this outfit yeah. now? Like, because I can, I can handle that. No, there was a kid, there was a kid in Poland who would wear shorts all winter. Yeah. It seems in like eventually you acclimate back to being cold, but no, they're just, their bodies are wired to, to be able to handle that. It's crazy. He, no, he was American. Oh, he was just. <laughs> oh. <insane. laughs> okay. Where in you know, America? I mean, you, you you live somewhere long enough, like you eventually adjust to it. I right. I still remember uh, listening on the radio here at one point, and that and there was some guy. He's like, I used to live in the Midwest. I'm I would always make fun of Californians, and then I moved out here for work, and now it's been a few years, and now I'm a SoCal weather bitch. Like it's because <laughs> I that has always stuck with me that statement. And it's just like, yeah, I, it's, you, you just adjust to, to whatever it is. Yeah. You're cold no matter what, though. I'm cold no matter what. Yeah. We get cold at Disneyland. Um, but maybe in the future, they'll add some more heating options, some places to stay warm. And we'll discuss all of those after the break. 
If you like what we do, we'd really appreciate if you'd consider supporting us on Patreon. Now more than ever, small independent teams need all the help they can get, and we'd love to have you join the rebellion. Joining us on Patreon can get you a wide array of perks, starting with our one star tier. Joining this tier will get you voting rights for Movie Madness, our weekly journey through an actor's entire filmography. Our two star tier will give you extended episodes of the Hebrew Rebels podcast, Game Chat Tonight, and Movie Madness, both ad free and a day early. Plus, you can write into those shows for a chance to have your questions and comments read on the podcast. The three star tier delivers the most value with our Patreon exclusive shows. You will get a monthly episode of Crossword Struggle and Climbing the Ranks. And we have more exclusive shows planned to add even more value to this tier. Next, as a four-star rebel, your name will be listed in an on-screen shout-out on each of our weekly scheduled shows. Finally, you can be one of only 24 people to be considered a founding rebel. You will receive a limited edition founding rebel t-shirt. Your name will be read on each of our shows as a founding rebel, and you will forever be remembered as one of the very few people to truly help start the rebellion. Visit patreon.com slash Hebrew Rebels for more information. Thank you so much for your support, and back to the show. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to talk about Disneyland Forward, and I'm going to hand it off to my friend, Ethan. Uh, so, for anybody who doesn't know what Disneyland Forward is, thank you. I'm going to receive I'm it I'm right too now. literal sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um... So oh, high level, Disneyland has been for God since like 2017. They've had this like theoretical concept of what to do next with the parks. When I was a wee lad, uh, my memory of going to Disneyland involved parking in a massive parking lot and then walking up to the gates. That massive parking lot is now California Adventure, which itself has evolved. Well, there's still two pretty big parking lots left on the north side of the Disneyland Hotel, and the south side of around like Pix was it Pixar Place now? Yeah. And then they have another massive lot. I believe it's the Toy Story lot, kind of east of the convention center, and another parking lot. Whatever, like kind of above that. They got a ton of extra room, and the whole thing is they're gonna fill it in now and make it into more park mm -hmm. okay. it's made it through the first approval the next official city council vote is mm -hmm. on april 16th and the disney just had their uh shareholder meeting like annual shareholder meeting and basically confirmed if that goes through they're going to tell us everything they're going to do oh. cool which is some good stuff did you say april 16th they, yeah. Cool. We'll be at Disneyland. That's our, I don't know how to call it, our other anniversary, our first anniversary. Right. Um, and so they, have you guys seen any of the, the kind of stuff that's leaked out lately? I haven't. <laughs> well, tell me, I have some of it pulled up. There's one thing in particular that I want her to like react to, so... That Taylor has not seen. Okay, so yeah, they've they've teased some stuff. So in, in Shanghai, they added Zootopia. Yeah. In Hong Kong, they added Frozen, and in Tokyo, mm -hmm. they're adding Frozen, Tangled, and Peter Pan. And they said these are all things that could come to Disneyland. But the There's... other one that they've been kind of hinting at is does exist in Florida, but they've confirmed like <gasps> Disneyland will be getting an Avatar experience, and they haven't quite said but at the shareholder meeting they released uh some concept art of an app we're looking at it right now did i send it to you it looks amazing i just don't i can't fathom where this will go oh that'd be so cool thinking they needed something like foresty mm -hmm. like that so this this is the concept art. Uh, I think Jordan probably has it pulled up. And, I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty incredible. It's got a boat ride and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. if, if you look at the Disneyland Forward concept art, they've got, like, a volcano and water and stuff all around the... on one of the, one of the sections, mm -hmm. so... I don't know exactly where they're going to put this. I did see one person rumor that they could put it where Hollywood is... Like in the 
corner by Monsters Inc. and stuff. I don't think that's enough room though. No, I mean no. I I can't I don't imagine anywhere being enough room unless it's that southeast parking lot. Toy Toy Story, I think. Yeah. Like that's Avatar is the biggest movie of all time to certain metrics and like it deserves mm -hmm. the biggest amount of space that they have. You can't cram it in and try and fake like you're on Pandora or something. You have to really make it feel like that and that's the only amount of space I can imagine that working in. I was gonna say they did a good job with like Star Wars land. Like it doesn't occupy yeah. a lot of space. Cars right? land, like you feel yeah. like you're in it when you're in it. Yeah. Yeah. They they have the mm -hmm. tricks. They can I know they can pull it off. I just I can't yeah. see it yet and I'm excited. Like it's gonna blow my mind. I just it's so hard to predict. What what would you want to see in an Avatar land? Mm, you go Me first. first. Um, some kind of what are those birds called? Those dragon things that they ride. I forget what they're called, but some kind of ride, something you either you're riding them or they have big like animatronic ones that you can kind of go up and like pet, maybe get on top of animatronics that you can like interact with we've never gotten that before that'd be kind of cool mm. until it goes rogue and a wing like takes someone's <laughs> head off but i it's funny you bring up animatronics because they just teased the future of animatronics really imagineer imagineering is starting like a youtube series and they just showed off the tiana's bayou animatronics and they're oh very impressive mm. they're not they're not just like rotate and yeah. I mean, even those were pretty impressive, but... Yeah. We still haven't seen Lincoln. Even yeah, he's that? weird. Like, he the way he him. stands and stuff. He's he, what? He's, even he's kind of weird. I mean, it's from far away when you're back in the audience, it looks like him. But the yeah. way he stands and everything, like, it's a robot, clearly. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure well, whatever I want his a, next one's I are. want a full... VR experience of killing humans as a giant eight foot blue alien. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that actually would be fun. <laughs> a VR game. You don't want to do that, Maya? I don't think that is what Disney would do. Oh. Why not? I mean, that's what the movie does. Wait, remember the void that was in Downtown mm -hmm. Disney that we did? Yes. So it's something like that where you like go into a tube, you put this headset on, and then. You can just lay there, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, then you are walking around as a as a avatar, and I'm down to shoot humans. So that sounds fun, but yeah, I guess Disney wouldn't oh, yeah. do that. That's what the story is. I'm down to do that. I just don't <laughs> see Disney like, you know, encouraging people to shoot humans. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But that does seem very counterintuitive to their to their vibe. Yeah. Maybe. Low key though, I do want some giant mm -hmm. Navi people walking around. Yeah. Like real people in makeup and stilts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they do that, then I'll be pissed that there's no aliens walking around in in Galaxy's Edge. Mm -hmm. I want it. I'm not saying I don't want that to happen for Avatar, but they need to figure out how to populate and make these things feel more alive. That would be really cool. Yeah. There's no aliens, but they have new droids. Really? And they are bipedal. They're tiny, and they're cute, and they're friggin' adorable, and they're droids in training right now. And, and, and they're they gonna walk? be there over the next... Yeah. They're like... And they can, like, rub up against you and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, it seems like... So they've said they're gonna invest globally $60 billion in the parks. Oh, wow. Which oh is a God. number that I can't quite wrap my head around. Um, globally yeah globally half of that i think is maybe going to parks and experiences so 30 billion and then i forget what the commitment is that they gave for disneyland over the next like x number of years but so yeah when when do we expect to first start seeing like ground breaking for for these things if it gets approved in two weeks I would say by next year. Yeah. Yeah, within a year or two. For one of gonna... them, they're like at the ready. They just need approval. 
So they know what they're doing. It's not like they're still planning it. They know exactly what's going to happen once it gets approved. They just haven't told us yet. The head of parks literally said they're waiting on approval to announce plans. Mm. That's so exciting. Which means D23 this year is going to be an absolute blow. I thought about getting tickets, but then I was like, I don't I, that's too much. And what would be the reason it doesn't get approved? Stuffy city council people. I think it will. Yeah. Yeah. Did, I mean, they shut down the whole like hotel expansion they wanted to do, right? Yep. Yep. It didn't meet whatever requirements, but they're they're in their plan. They're putting money back into like affordable housing and all kinds of stuff. So they they covered all their and it's so I think with that one they requested public money and this is fully privately funded, so they can't really wow. do that. Huh. Any ideas for a Pandora world land? Yeah, I mean, one, it needs to be bright and colorful at night. Like, the plants need to be, like, interactive and oh. reactive, and I want to just see it at night, the water glowing. <laughs> but to kind of mm -hmm. lean into this picture, you see them on the boat, like, doing, like, a jungle cruise thing. And um, I was thinking, like, you know, the little pirate drop, if there's, like, a little drop at one section and they take a picture, and, like, in the picture, when you get it, they changed you into Navi <sighs> people, like it shows what you would look like as a Navi people, like an AI thing That's or something. Genius. That's so, so like, cool. So, like, you can kind of have, like, a picture of you as a Navi person or whatever going around the land. I don't know. I just thought <laughs> that'd be, like, so dope. Like, it's cool for someone who's on the ride to kind of get to see themselves. Because I was thinking about it, like, it'd be cool to have those type of things where, you know, you get to see yourself transformed or whatever. But that'd be a cool way for anyone who doesn't have the time or the whatever to go in to just kind of see a split yeah you know take a copy <sighs> of the picture i love that idea that's awesome that's yeah really Those are all great ideas and now <laughs> i now will be disappointed if they don't have that <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah the the walking around and like the ground lighting up yeah behind like, you and like stuff would things be really like cool. that interactive yeah. plants and it's just that's the whole thing of the land is the connection with nature yeah and like especially at night the way cars land lights up like i have big expectations Ooh. for everything oh, in here yeah. to be just bright and full of life what if you can buy a ponytail that you can like attach to your head oh like and you can walk up to things and like connect it and then like it interacts and oh my god happens. oh that'd be fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah is that yeah i'll just leave it at that it's inappropriate <laughs> that cool. in some c c circumstances yeah but <laughs> Consider it a weapon. I, I don't know if they ever <laughs> cleared that up. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know if they ever cleared that up? Is that a... Uh, no, I guess that's how they bond with the... With the that's yeah. how they bond, all right. Yeah, that's definitely how they bond. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that's how they make more Navi. Uh, oh, interesting. So. Like, it's required? Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, okay. What, what else? I I don't know. When I thought of what they needed, I was like, they needed something like foresty. And I'm glad they're going to do like, well, I hope they do an Avatar land, but it's kind of like what Taylor was saying. I just want to be like really immersed in feel like when I'm walking through there, like you're there, mm -hmm. like, especially at night, like you said, things lighting up. Beyond that, I, don't have, I got nothing. Wait, yeah. so Jordan, you said the Southeast. So you're saying the one that's like not part of Disneyland? Yeah, and that's that's where I feel a little weird because I don't... That feels almost like not canon, you know? I don't... I can't imagine Disneyland extending across streets now, but... But honestly, I hadn't considered that, and now I think that might be the best move. Because... It's a big amount of space. They can fully engross it. And what better pull to like get people to go over there? Mm. Yeah. 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 And go no, ahead. No, go, go. I was going to say, this might be a little too far, but if there were somehow, maybe it doesn't have to be underground, but some sort of quick little shuttle system where you're, you know, getting on a ship to go to Pandora that takes you across the street and then you come out and they're the masters of putting the walls up so you can't see the outside world and you get out and it's it's Pandora, you know? Like, you can't oh, see is... anything. Yeah, they definitely need an underground uh, loop system. Yes. That transports you to Pandora. That is That would be, be cool. incredible. 
similar to the way you go from like the galactic cruise ship to to galaxy's edge like something like that for pandora i think to get across that street will be necessary not just a walking bridge you know Mm -hmm. i want a hotel i want an avatar hotel sure the ship no not the ship that's lame we want pandora (laughs) (laughs) i don't even know how that would be the beds are the little like yeah the pods (laughs) the pods (laughs) in japan that's probably how they do it time will tell um did you uh so they they're another bit of so (laughs) tomorrowland tomorrowland is that what it's called that is what it's called yeah they finally announced they're gonna update the cars autopia good and not be gas guzzling, noxious, fume inducing. Um, I mean, past yeah. land. <laughs> past land, yeah, good. I mean, nothing seems less futuristic than those stupid little go karts that they have going around, but I think I will miss the sound of them. Mm, I love yeah. walking through Tomorrowland and, and hearing those, but they need to be electric and they need to, they need to look cooler now. We went on Utopia, right? You remember that? Mm-hmm. Guess we'll have to ride it again. Disney World's Utopia is really cool because it's like racetrack themed. It feels oh, like you're in like a race. Way. Yeah, it like kind of it has like banking and crosses over and stuff, but it's very short. Um, ours oh. is ours is nice, but wait, have we? Yeah, we did. Taylor, it have... <laughs> what? Taylor, have you been to World? No. Okay. We all got to go to World at some point. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I think it's changed so much since I was there even. Like, yeah. they they have an Avatar it's Land been... and stuff and Toy Story Land now. and. Yeah. I want to drink around Epcot. And... She's been watching a lot of TikToks about, about Epcot, yeah. Like what? They do, like, the world tour of drinks where they go from, like, country to country and they have, like, a drink. And then it's just really funny because by the end they're... They're pretty, uh, you know, it's the happiest place on earth. Going from England to China will take a toll on you. Yeah. (laughs) In the best way. Yeah, exactly. And then you go back to England to to top it all off. Yeah, Yeah, to finish off where you started. (laughs) All the snacks and stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. I I, I liked Epcot. Have you guys all seen Zootopia? We just watched on Easter. Mm. Appropriate rabbits. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that intentional? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's we also watched Hop. Yes, mm-hmm. Oh wait, what is that? It's a live action illumination movie with James Marsden. Yeah. And Russell Brand. He's the Easter Bunny. I do remember. I do remember seeing that pop up. How was that? Not as good, but great Easter movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't Perfect. recommend a better easter movie not like passion of the christ that's not well i guess part of it's easter yeah <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch that movie over the over the course of three days like each go. act is friday saturday sunday no um, we didn't watch that though <laughs> oh by the way they're making a sequel to that did you know that I think I did hear about that. that. That's when sequels have gone too far, when there's a Passion of the Christ 2. That's that's insane. I have nothing to say. No comment. <laughs> Anyways. Um, they're also still, they're still supposed to add the Avengers ride. Yeah. And hopefully make that area less not that interesting. Yeah. It's 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 gonna be what it's like literally like fighting Thanos or something kind of a thing. Oh yeah, I think that is what it is. It looks Mine like is... it looks like a universal ride. It looks like a uh, simulator, yeah. unfortunately, because I don't think there's that much space. Again, to oh, there's a lot of space in Avengers. So it would enter to the right of the Quinjet. I'm assuming. And there's a whole lot of space back there. They could do whatever they want. Hmm. You haven't seen it on the map. Nope. Maya's favorite ride is uh, 
Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> that is a great ride. It's a little bit different. Not. You don't like it? It's not her no. Oh, oh, oh. Why not? I don't like the anticipation of, like, dropping. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> so, he just makes me go on it so he can hear me scream at every... <laughs> And he just laughs oh, constantly gosh. the entire yes. time. He, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't know if it's because he's having fun or enjoying your misery. No, he's definitely enjoying my misery. That's okay. Yeah. It, yeah. There's no question. <laughs> and that's yeah. fun. It's so not. look at him. <laughs> it's a win-win because that drop <laughs> feeling is my win, win, favorite. Win. <laughs> Me too. Win, win, win. It's only good the first time though. Like every other time, it, it's never the same. But that first drop is the best. Like. I'm not saying oh. they program it to be the best. It's just it never quite lives up to that first drop. And then oh. the rest of it's just... That's why Supreme Scream is GOAT. Because it's just one epic <sighs> first drop. Yeah. I don't mind the drop. I just hate the climb. Same. Oh, I also hate the climb. It, uh, would you do you Supreme like Scream Supreme? still after your drop of Doom fiasco? Oh, I've done it many times after. You have? Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. I'll have to just never do Drop of Doom again. Right. <laughs> we do all have to go back to Six Flags again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. When everything's actually open. Yeah. What was closed? Goliath. Oh, God. Was Superman oh, closed? Man, that's such a good one. I think it was Boy. open, but the line was long. There was no, no way to find out how long any of the lines were. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I didn't trust any any resource that we had. You should um, walk across the whole park. And when you get into that, like, heated glacier tunnel, <laughs> you're in it. Like, you, you've committed. At that point, you're like, we will sit here and die if we have to. It's the hottest hunk of ice on yeah, the planet. Yeah, you're just staring at plastic ice thinking of how hot it is. <laughs> and how cold some, it should be. Some and it, kid's crying up there, and you're like, oh. It smells terrible. Yeah. Why? Like, Superman, why do you live here? It can be so much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think the Six Flags here is as good, but maybe mm. if you guys come out, we can try and check it out. I just want to ride new rides. Damn. Unless they're new all Twisted Colossus. Yeah. That was a great ride. That was Disneyland. Great. What else? Anything else? on the horizon um i don't know what, what's your guys favorite thing to do there not to rehash to do slash ride we haven't even ridden anything like hardly at all we just go and walk around uh, do you want me to go yeah yeah. i've reached the point That's where i'm kind of tired of waiting in lines if it's short yeah. i'll ride it i've ridden these rides a million times i i just like hanging out looking at people we, she has reinvigorated my love of like the food there because every few months they have every cart, every place has like a new specialty item or something. She's always checking those out and that, that, those are fun to kind of go around and collect. So yeah, the food and just kind of chilling, not, not the ride so much for me anymore. Food and wine festival is going on right now. I think it just started. Oh, we love those. I know. Yeah. We did the Lunar New Year. Yeah, the Lunar New Year. Mm. Did you get the pass thing? Yes. The, what was it? Sip the, and Savor. The Sip and Savor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The food was good. Tell them about it. Was it the Birria egg roll? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, my I think God. So. <laughs> it was me. I think that was, mm -hmm. that needs to be like a permanent item. It's so good. That was, yeah. Yeah. You can't get that stuff after, I guess, anywhere. They have the birria no. tacos. Yeah, they have birria ramen and stuff over in San Francisco. Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. How's that looking? I actually like that it's change. Awesome. It's perfect. Yeah. At yeah. first, yeah. I was like, really? It's. You liked it? Yeah, it looks really good. That's a great reskin of, of that area to give it mm -hmm. a Disney feel. You still haven't seen Big Hero 6, huh? Mm mm. I still haven't seen it. We'll have to watch it. Yeah. I'll say this. My it, favorite uh... ride right now. Mm -hmm. My favorite ride right now is the new Minnie and Mickey ride. Oh, um, 
in mm-hmm. Toontown? Toontown, yeah. In Toontown. Where you're, like, yeah. going through, like, El Capitan Theater and stuff before seeing all the movie posters mm-hmm. yes. and stuff. Yeah. It's yeah, so yeah. cute. Yeah, the line it's is worth so it cute. for that ride because it's so cute yeah. the whole way. Every movie poster is, like, a little Easter egg kind of fun. Yeah, I, that's one of the yeah. best line experiences they've ever made. And it's such a, like, fun and cute ride. Yeah. And there's like suppo- like there's two storylines or there's two mm-hmm. like, different. I did rides hear that. Can- yeah. I didn't know that. I I when I wrote it, I'm like, this is perfect for them to reprogram something else. But I didn't know they actually did or had yet. That's that's awesome. I think we've only done it once. Yeah, we've only did we do it once? Yeah, we yeah. tried a second time, but it yeah. broke down. And if yeah. it breaks down, it's write it again. <laughs> one to two hours. Yeah. Did you ever write nope. it? No, she still hasn't no. written uh, Rise. That will get corrected. Yeah. We we literally got into the car and we're about to get launched and they broke it down. And then we had to walk through a bit of it oh to, to get out. Yeah. My number one request for new rides is make them work. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, it's these stupid magnetized ones. I think they have a lot of problems. Yes, they are. Yeah. And that's what the, the mini ride is. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Although I heard that the issue with that one is the projectors. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they use a, they do a lot of projections mm-hmm. now. Yeah, that's ancient technology. How do they not have that locked down? I don't know. Ancient, you know, like as if that's been around for thousands of years. It has. <laughs> they found a cave painting of um, projectors. A cave projection. <laughs> yes, using the sun and glass. I think that's. That's from Indiana Jones, right? Is it? Yeah, he sticks the thing in the ground and the sun shines through it and then it illuminates the part on the map where he has to go find the Ark. I clearly need to watch Indiana Jones again. <laughs> Are you familiar with Indiana Jones? I think I watched it. I don't remember the movie. I remember, like, bits and pieces. Okay. You're not interested, right? Not necessarily. Yeah. I get it. They feel old now. Well, there's a new one, thankfully. Nope. I actually reject it. <laughs> Insane. Why is it nope? He said it's really bad. Oh. It's not good. You watched it? Yeah. My oh, dad and okay. I went, probably like day one, I think. It, it, I mean, oh. I knew it was going to be bad. I was not excited for it. The first time I saw the trailer, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, oh no. But yeah, it was worse than I thought, actually. So I will say... Number one thing I hope they add is Tangled. Are they Tangled yes. Ride? Yeah, land. Oh, Tangled Land. Yeah, they're adding it in Japan, so if they don't add it here, gotta go to Japan. What would be included in a Tangled Land? Well, they in Tokyo, they have the Ugly Duckling. I think that's what it's mm. called. Yeah. So the bar or whatever, saloon, I don't even know what they call it in that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they have a ride with the lanterns, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, pretty. Cool. So, in the, I just, in the castle, or the <laughs> tower. D- is there not a tower at Disneyland right now? I don't think there is. That's why I feel like they should add it. I thought to the right of, like, Snow White or something, I think, I don't think it does anything, but I think there is a tower. Oh, Fort Tangle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have a little tiny one. Maybe. Lame. Give me a bigger one. Um. Okay. Yeah. Tangled. Zootopia is getting something possibly. Do you wanna? Do you wanna say your idea that you had earlier? Yeah. The number one thing I hope they add is, like, a sugar rush or like a Candyland from Wreck It Ralph. And they can do, like, bumper carts to simulate, like, the racing game that she's in. And then, like, have, like, an old-style arcade that has all the games, like, Tapper and whatever in it. And then, like, like the Toy Story Mania where you're, like, shooting things. You can kind of, like, design your own car. And they, it, like, prints onto, like, a cookie that you can take home or something. And, like, I just want it to be, like, super cool. Just, like, a Candyland food-themed stuff. Lollipops everywhere and, like... Bumper cars, they used to do bumper cars, and those are gone now. 
And you could do, like, the different, like, racers and pick, like, a helmet or something. It'd be cool. I, I thought that was genius. I mean, obviously, the space itself is gone now, but it feels like the spiritual successor to, like, a Bugs Land, you know? Especially with, like, the bumper carts and stuff. Just, yeah, perfect place for kids to go and lose their minds. Like, there's in. a candy store. Like, one of those things where they go and, like, you could just pick out a candy bag and weigh it and stuff. That'd be cool. The arcade. I know. Oh, you're that's losing such a good idea. I, I love the idea of an arcade. Yeah, they need... Wreck-It Ralph is per, is a per, would be a perfect addition. I don't Not feel like it gets it. enough love. I mean, I know it got a sequel, but... No. It is so good. It's so good. They need to just build all this so that then they can buy Angel Stadium and build a whole other park. And, and Vanellope's another princess. They're trying yeah. to, like, add them in and stuff. She'd be a cute little... Yeah, like princess. She interacted with all of them in Wreck-It yeah, Ralph. Yeah, in her too. second one, there's her and all the other little princesses and stuff. That's so, so. true. <sighs> yeah, give yeah, give Vanellope her respect. Watch it. Okay. What the second one? No, I didn't watch. <gasps> Rocket <Rock and> Ralph. <gasps> the oh first one God. either. The first oh one gosh. either. I seen it. <laughs> They're so good. So good. Are they? Okay. Yes. Why haven't I seen them? Because we were starting at the beginning and we're only in 1950. <laughs> <laughs> we have 60 more years to go. You yeah. gotta hurry because when we do Fish. climbing the ranks for Disney, we gotta we gotta get to current day. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to be a part of that? It's our ranking show of. I, I told you about this, right? Of like, we'll do Star Wars movies, Pixar movies, Disney movies. Uh, oh yeah. She yeah for for that kind of stuff, she's down. I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, that sounds so hard, though. It is. Yeah. Well, you got to do homework, <laughs> and then we'll we'll all discuss our our different rankings. For the ones that require the most catching up, we can set that date, you know, farther into the future, so we have time. We don't have to crunch mm -hmm. for it. But is Taylor all caught up on Star Wars? Um, besides like the shows, I think I besides watch. the animated shows, yeah. You guys never did Clone Wars? No. Mm -mm. That's a not lot. the one I was watching. You watched some of it. I, I started showing you like certain arcs of it, but. Oh, I wasn't watching Bad Batch. No. I watched. I didn't even finish you season one of Bad, Bad Batch. Batch. There's an. There's more episodes. Yeah, there's a new season. There's a new season? Season yeah. three, yeah. That's good. But yeah, she's seen bad, all bad the girl. all the live action stuff. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully we'll get some more. Mm-hmm. And it's good. Yeah, we're getting Acolyte two shows this year now. Acolyte so, yeah. and whatever skeleton the crew? Jude Law yeah, skeleton crew. Mm. That's what it's about. Alright, Maya, what do you want to see? At Disneyland? Anything. Anything Disney. Anything Disney? Anything Disney. You can think about it. I don't think Jordan said what he wants yet. Yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, this might be cheating a little bit because we already know that they're working on this, but I just really need downtown Disney to get massively pumped up. It, it's lame. It's just bad stores, most of which I never want to go into. They've taken away the mm -hmm. good stores. The bowling yeah. alley is a good addition. Rainforest Cafe just sitting there being a hollow shell of a kind of Star Wars store is really depressing. Uh, AMC is gone. I, I loved seeing movies there. Um, I know they're adding things that we're going to love. Din Tai Fung. Uh, oh, what's, is there another restaurant way. that they're adding? Mm -hmm. uh, they've announced a bunch. There's like going to be um, this like... I can't. I can't think of what it's called, but like kind of like a food court type thing. That's yeah, not the right word. I just. I. I mentioned earlier how much I love City Walk at Universal, and I yeah. mean it is a lot of you know kind of tchotchke kind of stores, but it feels a, more alive to me. Um, and you. it's a lot of stores I want to go to. They have cool candy stores and cool collectible stores and a, a Nintendo store. Like, there's a whole. Harry Potter store there. Do like stuff Simpsons like that. Yeah. And... Make it yeah. Disney, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, they're going yeah, to. The I just... only stores left are like Billabong, Home Decor, like yeah. a Who... sock store. We <laughs> yeah. went and bought a pair of socks when we needed them. Who's like... buying furniture nice. from downtown Disney? Yeah. Yeah, that's also true. 
Where, where did <laughs> that they have painful. where did they have furniture? They've had multiple like home decor kind of stores. I like, think they're closing one of them. There was D Street or something like that. Like that store was cool, but I feel like there's at least one that's just a generic buy some potted plants and some mm-hmm. pit and some frames and stuff and just get that out of here. Yeah, I think they got rid of that one. Okay, good. Maybe. I feel like they can make the storefronts like really cute too. Like it doesn't, yes. you know, it just feels like you're, you know, like make it feel like we're walking to Disneyland, you know? Yeah. Yes. I don't know. It's very generic. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Ever, I love that. Are, the, are there ever any characters out in downtown Disney, Disney or no, no? It's like a once you're in Disney thing. I don't see yeah. why there can't be though. Cause you got to pay for yeah. that. What's, what's going to be interesting. So if, if you look at the Disneyland forward art, like when they do encompass it, that might be what happens yeah. because then it's like, you're totally surrounded by park it's around the enclosed. hotels, around everything. So then it, it could be more themed and, um, yeah, more of that. I'm, I'm, I'm super down for that. Also, what I really want and need, and I think they will with these, like, more westward expansions of the park, I need another entrance for both parks. It's, yeah, the main entrance, but, like, have a place over by the hotels to get in and out, because yep. there's nothing I hate more than being, like, stuck back by Winnie the Pooh, and I know I have to walk all the way out during fireworks or parades or something at the end of the night, and then take the tram, it, that's exhausting. I, I need I need more ways to get back to my car. Dude, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to be incredible. It will be. They, I trust them fully. I have, I have very high hopes. Yeah. Maya, any ideas? Any any dream scenarios? No? No, I think I'm like along for the ride. That sounds about right. Yeah. What, what's your favorite Disney movie? The Lion King. So, like, I wouldn't want them to... Yeah. What about a VR where you're a lion and you eat humans? Oh my god. Oh my god. So much murdering humans at Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. now. What if they turned the California Adventure bear into Pride Rock? Low key. That would be really cool. Well, yeah. Are you but, kidding me? Uh, I was if we have a baby, like I really like, want to do that. Taken out and oh used for something else, like that ride I was talking with Avatar, and that drop is where they <laughs> yeah. take the picture. You know. Like... <laughs> That's cool. No. I said if you like if they did have a pride rock, like everyone who has like a baby would like <laughs> you know. I mean, yeah, I would do it. Everything the light touches. It, it's like those <laughs> things on Instagram where it looks like people are hanging off of a cliff, but then they show the other angle and it's like there's it's just right there. So yeah. if you do drop your baby, it's it's not gonna be fatal at least. Right. <laughs> just traumatic as That's hell. The bar. At least not fatal. <laughs> We're really bringing Disney. Disney down. Just traumatic. <laughs> At least it's not fatal. Can I call the episode that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I, I um, that's a good oh, Disneyland. At least it's not fatal. Maybe in the picture of that, they turn like you to Rif- into like Rafiki or something. Oh my god. Mm. You. <laughs> what about something Aladdin? I, I, they took away the I, show. Carpet magic ride. The what? The show? Did, did you guys ever see the play? The mm. Oh, it was great. That's something we haven't mm. seen, really. We haven't, like, spent time seeing, like, the shows they have. I don't know there. if it's still Frozen or what it is now. It, it's also, it's good yeah. also, but the Aladdin show is fantastic. Wait, like that animated show? To, like, no, Coco. That's, that's like, what the show oh, I, yeah. I think it's Coco yeah. now. Yeah. Or yeah. It, we didn't see that. No, in uh, California Adventure, the the theater. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we didn't see that. I yeah. would love that. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, they don't have any like. Do they have an Aladdin ride? No, I anywhere don't I don't think. They, they don't, right? Like that's that's so sad. No, I want Agrabah. Yeah. <laughs> there was like well, Disneyland concept art for like Dubai, I think, or something, but that all fell through. Oh. Is, would they do a park in in Dubai? No, no new parks for a very long time. Okay. Um, there is, apparently, I forgot about this, in the Magic Kingdom, at least there was, I'm not sure if it's still there, 
uh it's oh, basically a dumbo ride. it's a dumbo ride but you're you're ah. in like a giant plastic carpet so yeah. that doesn't count <laughs> no it and they have count. a bazaar yes if i'm remembering correctly like the one we yes. have by jungle cruise mm. that'd be a good place to put it something aladdin over there yeah, oh put the put the big lion sand guy into jungle cruise And there can be like yeah. a little guy that like walks in and falls into a hole. I'm I'm down for anything and everything. Me I wonder if they could do like a too. projector on the floor, and then like you know how they have the magnets, like maybe do a magnet like carpet ride, so where it feels like you're flying, but you're just like on the ground. That does actually remind me. So they have one other the 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 other inventor guy that just got inducted into the Inventor Hall of Fame. The other creation that he debuted is this hollow tile that you stand on and it can move you around oh yeah oh wow but so we're gonna see that used at some point oh that'd That's be cool. great for oh it's for vr right it could be for vr but it could yeah, be for anything that would be so cool i'm so sad the that void vr is not in downtown disney anymore that was so much I fun know. Yeah. yeah they replaced it with the furniture store cool <laughs> <laughs> well we've had a lot of good ideas please let us know in the comments if you have any good ideas for the future of Disneyland or California Adventure or any Disney park, whichever is your preferred place to go and enjoy the magic. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and support us on Patreon if you enjoyed our conversations. And we'll be back on our other shows to talk about games and Arnold Schwarzenegger movies very soon, hopefully. But until then, my name is Jordan. And my name is Ethan. This has also been... <laughs> That's Maya and this is Taylor. <laughs> oh, okay. Am I supposed to, are we were we supposed to do that? I didn't. I no, didn't I tell you that. that. That's okay. That's fair. That's my bad. But um. But we are the Huber Rebels. Until next time. Welcome to the rebellion. Yeah, we did it. Yay.